couple of recent events in the WordPress ecosystem, namely the RCE vulnerability that affected Bricks and a couple other builders that resulted in tens of thousands of hacked websites, and the announcement earlier this week that Quickly is going to stop development on the plugin. I thought it would be a good idea to just quickly show how to take a WordPress website and host it statically with a working submission form on Cloudflare pages. So we're going to create a free form that can actually receive submissions as a static site. And we'll get that hosted up on Cloudflare and it should be done pretty quickly. So I'll show you, uh, it's actually gotten a lot easier to host stat sites statically. So I have this uh, thing I wrote up here and I'll leave this on the website, of course. Um, <clears throat> the problem is like, how do you host a website when theme and plugin development stops, right? Or there's other security issues or, you know, you or your client can't or won't pay for hosting, but need to have a functional website with forms that are submitted. So there's some pros and cons, of course, to this approach. You can't do this on, uh, you know, the, there's no user login, there's no database, there's no content management system that you can interact with. And so there's pros to that, which means that it can't be, uh, have you know, malicious code executed on it, but it means you can't use it on like e-learning or e-commerce sites and still have it function. So this is not a solution for every website, but this might help you quickly get uh, your sites that you need to uh, move onto this quickly. So let's get started. All right, so what we're going to do is first we're going to add it. We need to, I have a bunch of forms here. In fact, I have a link here from Simply Static, which is the plugin that we're going to use to create the static version of some forms they suggest. I have a couple of them on here. Uh, jot form, I don't think was one of them, but I have it on here. So I have a Jot form, free version. Free, uh, form spree is the one we're going to set up. And you can see I don't have a form here. Form keep, another free form static forms. These are all free. Um, there's limitations on the free version, of course, like almost any software, uh, but this should work for pretty simple sites. So first, what we need to do is go to our form spree account. So I just made a free account here. We'll create a project. We'll call this static website uh, forms. So we have a, a project and then we can create our form within that. <clears throat> Let's do static website one. And that's essentially all we need. There's this unique code that we'll grab, but first what we need to do is get the form itself. So we come over here to uh, form spree has a free library of simple forms, simple contact form, survey form, RSVP, et cetera. So we're just going to grab the contact form, get the code, take you down the page, copy the code, come back to our quickly site. We'll edit this. And we're just going to paste this as a HTML element right here. I have the block all ready to go. So we'll paste that in there. Scroll all the way to the top. And you can see here there is the action here. And we need to put this form ID. I need to grab that from. We'll grab that and we'll paste that as the slug there. So that's the unique identifier. Preview the form. There's our form. All right. Update that. We're good to go. We don't need to set anything else up. So we'll go back to our WordPress site. And now what we need to do is install the plugin to host its, the static version. So we'll, I, I have this already downloaded. Uh, in fact, I'll just delete it. Get rid of all the data. Show, show how it's done because there is a quirk, at least that, for I, that I had. Simply static. We'll download it again install and we'll activate that and then we'll come to simply static here and we'll have it generate all the files for the website this will create a file log with the html and css and javascript and the styles and json everything that it needs to run now this is the quirk that I've noticed. Uh, if I refresh, I don't see it in here. However, if I log out, log back in, go back to simply static, there it is. So it's created 29 of 29 pages and files. I come down here and see there's the pages, 
JSON style.css, all the all the stuff we need. So just hit download. I'll download that. Now what we need to do is upload this. So we're going to go to Cloudflare and I'm logged in here, but I highly recommend using a Cloudflare account if you're not already using the free version. You can host the DNS here, hash it, have security, HTTPS, all kinds of stuff. Uh, and the, one of the other things, I don't know how, I guess they've had pages for a few years now, but um, so what you need to do is come to workers and pages, click that, and then there's this tab here for pages. And you know a better way to do this is of course using the Git repository so you can push stuff up to the website have more control over it. Uh, there's plenty of videos on how to do that and it's not that complicated, but if you want to see that, I can make a video on that too. But um, yeah, right here, we're just going to use this option. I don't know, this is this is definitely newer. This has not been there for that long, I think. So anyway, we're going to create a project, right? Static website, we'll do that. Create project. And there's our, there's going to be our new temporary domain. And actually it's a permanent domain. Uh, we'll select the file from our computer. We'll upload the zip file that we just downloaded. And it should do it almost instantly. It's done. Deploy. Success, it's done. Now, uh, this will not work right away, I think, right? If I click it, it's not quite updated yet. So we'll give that a few seconds. It's usually pretty quick. So then we have our pages. So there's our first one. You can go and create another one here. What you can also do is add your custom domain. Right, which I'm not going to do because I don't have a one that I have just handy right now. But uh, this does work. Um, I just set this up earlier with this with this website, uh, and then I also deleted it, so we can't visit it. But <laughs> you get the idea. So let's visit the site. It's still not loaded yet, but um, we'll just wait. We'll wait a few more seconds. It's not going to take that long. Cloudflare is very quick, but um, anyway. This is the idea. This this is basically it. You 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 install your form, uh, and whichever one you choose. You know, I I tried it with those three, and it worked, or four of them, and it worked fine. So decide which form you want to use. You might want to even upgrade and use a paid version. They're all pretty cheap. I mean, I think this one, uh, like their plans start at ten dollars a month for unlimited forms and projects, custom redirect. 200 submissions that that's that's enough. I don't know if that's per form but um, this might help you out uh, if you if you are limited by the free version um, definitely cheaper than jot form paid for sure but in any case uh, let's go back and see if our site's up is it site good there it is so there is our static site pages.dev all the same content there's our forms Here's our form spree form. Let's try this out. So Brendan, we'll do contact Brendan testing static form submission. And it looks like, yeah, on the free version, it redirects you, but it'll go back Here's our form still on the site. I don't think, yeah, these pages are not hooked up. I just have one page on this site with this, <laughs> but in any case, I will leave a link to this website in the description uh, of the video just keep it up I don't know, I don't know how useful it is for people but I will do that and if we come back to our uh, inbox here there's our submission so from that static website at well I didn't set my time zone <laughs> in any case that works you can see here I, I just tested this 20 minutes ago right before this I had to re-record the video of course because things so anyway, that is working. So we have a working contact form on a free hosted static website that, you know, basically can't be hacked or be uh, updated as easily, but you know, I don't have to worry about it, right? So that's how you do that. Hopefully this helped. Take care.